What's going on you guys? Uh, coming back at you, but this time with a movie review. I uh, wanted to kind of see, well kind of wanted to do it and, and see if people liked it or not. So uh, yeah, basically I just got done watching the movie Only God Forgives. Um, so it's got Ryan Gosling in it and it's by the same director that did Drive. And the music is also done by the same person that did Drive as well. So, um... If you don't know already, I mean, the trailers looked awesome for Only God Forgives. And, I mean, I saw some reviews on it, and a lot of people were bashing it. And I think when they uh, originally screened the movie, I guess like half the people walked out or whatever. But I saw the trailer, and I thought it was awesome. So I said, screw it. I'm going to check it out anyways. So yeah, so if you don't already know, it is available for rental or for purchase digital, digitally on sites like Voodoo.com. So yeah, but uh, let's jump right into the review. Um, a quick synopsis of the movie is basically Only God Forgives is about uh, Ryan Gosling's uh, character um, who has an older brother. And basically the, the older brother uh, dies or is murdered. And he is seeking revenge, and his mom comes and kind of helps him seek revenge or whatever. And that's basically the entire movie. So, um, I'm going to go over the good, the bad, and my recommendations about the movie. So, first off, let's start with the good. Um, firstly, this movie looks beautiful. It's, it's shot very well. The cinematography is awesome. Um, the colors that the director uses I don't know his name it's it's hard to pronounce but the the um, the colors used in this film are beautiful and the shots are beautiful I mean there's shots where uh, Ryan Gosling is standing in the doorway and you see it and then you don't see exactly what happens because you only see what happens in that doorway so it's kinda cool so there's I mean there's beautiful artistic shots like that um, the colors match well with the movie, and it also makes you feel like you're actually in these parts of Thailand, you know, in the, the red light districts of Thailand, because a lot of red is used, and a lot of bright colors are used. So, I mean, the movie looks beautiful in that aspect, and I'm a huge fan of violence and blood and gore, and this movie has plenty of it. So, it's it's got people's arms getting chopped off, people getting sliced across the chest, um, stabbed in the throat, so it's, it's a cool, it's a cool, um, violent movie, so, and the music, oh, let's not forget about the music, the music is beautifully done, the music, uh, fits very well with the movie, um, it, it, it captures the theme of the movie very well, um, and it builds a lot of suspense in suspenseful scenes, so it's, it was very well played. But, um, so that's it for the good. Now let's jump right into the bad. Um, so the bad is, I feel like this movie was trying to be too artistic at some point. Um, like, there's very little dialogue. Now, I don't care if there's a lot of dialogue in the movie, but as long as the movie flows and it makes sense, then dialogue is, is whatever. But this movie has very little dialogue, and in the scenes... A lot of the scenes are confusing. So you, there, there's a lot of scenes where it's just characters staring, and then it's just like it's a cutscene of a character staring at something. Then it cuts to another scene of a of another character staring at something. So I mean, throughout the movie, there's very few scenes where um, the main characters are ever in the same room together. But then there, it seems like they're always in the same room at different times if that makes sense so like they'll cut to a scene of um the main villain and then he's in a room that looks like a room that ryan gosling was just standing in in the previous scene so it's like are they in the room together like are they staring at each other is do they make eye contact you don't know because it doesn't say it doesn't show them it doesn't show that happening and then there's no dialogue or anything like that so it's confusing and um there were um a couple of scenes that i felt were not needed in the movie um 
So, I mean, the scenes with... Basically, there's a character in the film and she's a prostitute. Every scene with this girl was totally unnecessary. The beginning... there's She's in like three or four scenes, I can't remember. But the very first scene that she's in, pointless. It could... I mean, she's got this thing with Ryan Gosling's character. And honestly, what they have together is pointless. It doesn't have anything to do with the movie. It doesn't play a significant part in the movie. So I don't understand why it was put into the movie. So, I mean, there's that. I mean, that's all the bad. I mean, it wasn't too bad. So, honestly, is the movie bad? No, it's not bad. It's, 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 it's watchable. But is it good? No, it's not good either. So it's kind of, it's a neutral movie. It's, it's, you're either going to like it or you're going to hate it. But with me, I saw the good and I saw the bad. Um, I didn't think it was good and I didn't think it was terrible. I think it's kind of in the middle, maybe an average film. Um, there were some enjoyable parts and there were a lot of, there were other unenjoyable parts of the film as well. So, yeah, there's that. And so my recommendation is, if you can, wait for it to come on Netflix streaming and watch it then. Or if you're like me and you have to have the movie, uh, because honestly, the movie looks great. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy it regardless when it comes out on Blu-ray. But my recommendation is wait for it to get the five bucks. Wait for it to get the five bucks, then buy it, then watch it. That way... I mean, you're really not wasting a lot of money on the film. And then you're like, eh, for five bucks, I guess. But yeah, so that's my recommendation. Um, let me know what you guys thought about my first movie review. Because um, I don't know if I should do more of these or not. But yeah, let me know uh, in the comment section below. below not, not a thumbs down, but, but below. And then, um, yeah, so I got a couple more videos probably coming out in the next couple of days here. Since I got... Um, a few pickups coming in, and then I'll definitely be checking out more movies. So, yeah, but don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, share, and yeah. Peace.